The belief that we belong on the cutting edge of innovation, that's an idea as, as old as America itself. I mean, we're a nation of tinkerers and dreamers and believers in a better tomorrow. I was at the piano one night playing the piano and I noticed that when I played certain chords or notes, the strings on a nearby banjo would resonate. And so I heard that and made the connection and thought, maybe I can use the same principle to detect bright landmines. I created a sensor for youth in high school football that would be able to tell you when you might have received a concussion. A uv light lunchbox that kills bacteria off fruits and food. A lunchbox that helps people. I never thought I could do that. I created a program that I hope will get kids excited about programming by turning it into a game. Specifically what my nanoparticle does is it's an improvement on past cancer treatments. Definitely as a kid I asked a lot of why questions and I found that um, science and math um, usually were the answers, the coolest answers to all of my why questions. Everybody can do science and they do it every day and I think it's just a matter of pursuing those questions. I mean, when you see something and you ask a question, that's science. If you look around and find out where these kids came from and what challenges they overcame to be here and what, what invested energy there was in their local science teachers and the sacrifices that the parents made. What we have here is a cross-section of all of America recognizing that there's innovation that could come from any demographic, any region of the nation, and in fact, the greatest innovations are coming from people who had to struggle just to go to school. There's a girl here whose parents were homeless at a time she learned that she had won her, 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 her science fair. Just when things were rough at home or at home, you know, or whenever it might, was, I had something to look forward to, and I always was taught to not move around, to do something, and to make things better, I'd have to work for it, and I, I found that, something that I was passionate about and that could get me somewhere. So I used my research, my science, as a means of, you know, doing better for myself and just focusing on something more than being homeless. This is the kind of stuff, what these young people are doing, that's going to make a bigger difference in the life of our country over the long term than just about anything. This is what inspires me and gets me up every day. This is what we should be focusing on uh, in our public debates. Um, and as for all the folks who are here, don't, uh, don't let your robots wander off anywhere. All right?